podcast where a couple best friends talk about whatever we want. Um, Maria might be the wrong amount of unhinged today. In what? In what way? What are we talking about? You are not feeling it. I have been feeling it <laughs> all summer, so I don't like. So this week hasn't isn't uh, particularly different from any other week. Um, so I'm fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's cute shirt you're wearing. Thank you. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> I'm fine. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're doing great. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I'm off today. I took a summer Friday. I'm doing so fine. proud of you. I know. I'm finally. doing fine. Finally. Um. Anyways, before we get sidetracked, we're talking shit about Americans. Is what what was framed to me. And Seems like an easy go to all the super, time. Super easy. For Americans me. make it so easy. It truly, and as people that are American, as well absolutely we just make it so easy for the rest of the world and fellow so easy it's embarrassing Americans. um but also i think we're we live in the northeast which is <laughs> which i think our mindset compared to the different parts of america like it's so easy to make fun of every other yeah forget it if i met somebody from like missouri like they wouldn't last five minutes i would have them skin inflate like within five minutes like there'd be no survival rate Right, so like you know, but maybe somebody uh, from like Kentucky, their life is ruined. I have coworkers maybe. from Kentucky. <laughs> they're fine. They're, 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 they're fine. There's a couple of them that are fine. So, uh, but I don't know about the rest of the state. <laughs> That's probably why we hired them. <laughs> so, um, in particular, <laughs> though, I think we're talking about ninety day. And like that shit show. So I'm watching a lot of Discovery Plus and I've got 90 Day and Match Me Abroad is the new one. Is that so where people are hiring so it's basically people are hiring matchmakers in like specific like countries to like find someone to marry. What is it called? Match Me Abroad. Interesting. Okay. Like abroad, oh, not a broad. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right. Okay. No. Uh, no. I just wanted to make that joke really badly. Yeah. Obviously, TV titles are not that. <laughs> not like that. But match me abroad. So I am all down for people getting a matchmaker. Like, that's chill. You've been busy. Like, you haven't just been interested. You haven't had sex. Like, what the fuck ever? Like, live your best life. Fuck it up. But like, these people. <laughs> They're, like, picking a country because they're, like, oh, yeah, I, like, went there one time. And, like, I thought the men were great. And I'm, like, I mean, that's not a great reason, but sure. sure. Um, And then they're, like, they, the thing that gets me the sh- most shook at where I'm going to, like, really heavily, like, talk the most shit about Americans is, like, 90 Day, Imagine Brawl, like, all their shit. The thing that they have most common, even 90 Day UK. So, like, everybody's getting dragged on this. Mm-hmm. Um. They need the money or like want to be with somebody from like a country and like don't learn that fucking language. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they rely on like translator apps and like using one of the crew members to help them translate instead of using their phones to translate. It's like, why the <laughs> fuck didn't y'all learn the same language? Pick a new one and make it your shared language. I don't give a fuck. But like, are you fucking kidding me? I mean, it's the American centric of it, of it all. <laughs> like, right? Like, it's like it's like, well, we're like the the world leaders of everything. Like, why doesn't everyone speak English? Types, you know, like embarrassing. It's it's very embarrassing. That's why I don't really advertise when I'm abroad that I'm American because I that's embarrassing. <laughs> I'm like, no. Thankfully, I'm also not white, so it kind of like helps in this favor. Um, because I wouldn't know like- what to do. Yeah, like, like, I'm white and American. I don't know how to speak anything. But, like, I try and, like, I learn things. And, like, I don't just go there with the, like, hope that everyone will figure out the fuck I'm saying. If I were to date someone or try to marry someone from another country or even go visit them in their country, I'd learn their fucking language. Yeah, at least, like, attempt to even just understand. Like, I know speaking 
a language is hard in practice like in 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 theory and when you're learning it's easy because you're speaking at like a duolingo or like a rosetta mm-hmm. stone right like it's, it's super easy but then in practice you're kind of like embarrassed to even like even open your mouth so i get that but as long as you understand and like like at a basic level especially if you're meeting someone abroad and like trying to like date them or whatever like if you can just understand and be like oh like i know what you mean but i just don't know how to translate yes that's a step yes. up then just completely just like x ex- not even just like doing anything just being like oh hold on let me um put my phone and can you speak again like fuck embarrassing it's very embarrassing i mean again it's just you know that's why um it's so hard too because kids don't want to learn they don't find the joy in learning languages to that extent unless you are of some other like your parents are from another place Mm -hmm. and they like Sometimes they're, they force you. Other times it's very organic where they speak at home and you kind of just, like, learn that way. But, like, yes, learning a second language in, like, like in high school we had to take, like, Spanish at least. Or, like, a language for, like, two years. Like, that was just required for our graduation. But, like, who's paying attention to Spanish 101? I can answer go to the bathroom. Yeah, like, I just... That's all I got. I was like, I picked Spanish because it's so close to modern tagalog that i'm just like yeah i already like know what's happening but like who's like learning french and is like retaining that (laughs) you know like um but then again it's just like the lack of god this is me on a soapbox about fucking languages um this is just the lack of caring about other cultures it's insanity to me and like I get mad at the people that are on it and, like, want to come over to America and, like, they also haven't put in any effort. And they're, like, like, the ones that are, like, yeah, I'm going to go to America and work. And their American partner is, like, you don't fucking speak English. How the fuck are you going to get a job? And they're, like, ah. Like, (laughs) like, it doesn't matter. And it's, like, no, my guy, like, all right, come on. Like, all shade at the Americans. All of it. But, like, come on, man. Like, you... You're gonna get huffy. I mean, yeah, and all, but also, and of course, I'm gonna defend any immigrant person coming in. A lot of people don't know how to speak English when they come here. Just sure, period. but the ones I'm talking about, the I'm talking about specifically, like the men that oh. come that like get with these American women, and like I feel so bad for these girls, but like girls, I'm so sorry. Like it's 100 percent for the green card. It's not for you. It's got. It's oh, never got anything to do with you, babe. I'm just, so sorry if you find that I'm one so out of oh sorry three, if you find that point one one percent that like actually do enjoy yeah like you as a person then that's- babe it's for the green card but like the ones that are like i'm the man of the house like i'm gonna come over and i'm gonna get a job and, like i'm gonna do all this and it's like okay but my man's like you have not learned not anything in english like what are you gonna come do, do? Well, that's like, also the, the the man mentality. Though. Yeah, yeah, and like, it's that that shit's always. But like, okay, so one fucking scrawny ass, like fucking southern ass white boy just moved to the Philippines for his girlfriend. Okay, great. He don't speak the yeah. like, not at all. Um, her family's rice farmers. He has to learn how to be a rice farmer. I was gonna ask if he's in rural Philippines, like not in like the city. Cause... Yeah. Um, cause I mean, <sighs> people, the thing, <laughs> like he'll be fine. It's just obviously the, the, his, like he'll be fine because a Filipinos, we are so ingrained with like trying to be white over there. There's a, <clears throat> especially American, like white American culture that like, he'll be revered as like, oh, like I have an American like neighbor. Like that's pretty cool. Like, you know, like they're like, yeah. Like, he'll be fine. Like, it's going to be shitty for him when he realizes how it's a third world fucking country. Like, So, surprisingly, Mr. Man, like, lived in a van before this. Okay. Uh, like, an RV on his, like, godparents' property. It's He's wild. Okay. But, like, him and her are both butt fuck not so crazy. Um, like, insane. Like, can't, like, she lost her shit and flipped out because he had, like, a female dental hygienist. Filipinos, I swear. To um, God. but like they stayed on the phone, like they had to be on video call twenty four seven, and like she made him change seats on his flight because he was sitting next to a girl. 
she's like, you're going to start talking to her and then you guys are going to be flirting. And I'm like, my girl, like, have you seen your man? Nobody wants him. It's okay. Like, that's okay. Oh, no, you're good. You're set. Nobody okay. wants his ass. Um, I mean, <laughs> Jesus. And like, so he, oh my God, I hate white people that just come yeah. to the Philippines to like yeah. marry someone. I mean, it freaks yeah. me out. As a, like, he's so, moving there. So I like, know, I know. Bet, but I guess. I, mean, I guess that's like a step up, I guess, because not like you're taking someone from their home. Yeah, he's not like trying to move her over. He's them. like, no, nah, that's cool. He walked into our house and she's like, um, there's like bugs and like lizards. And he was like, okay. And I was like, good for you, my man. Good for okay, you. I'd be crying. Cool. I'd be okay, like, that's, that's a cool. That's I like bugs, common. but not near me. Um, I'm in the Philippines. Yeah, lizards and yeah. They were laying in bed and there's this fucking noise and he's like, what the fuck was that? She's like, oh, lizard. <laughs> and he I'll was just like, it's probably the lizard that's crawling in the corner somewhere. Yeah. I might it was know. on the, it was on like the beam and this, yeah. you know, and he was just like, okay. And like, they don't harm walked you. into the bathroom and she has like the fuck it and the shower thing and he's yes. like, all right, that's different. I know, that's fine. And like, just adju- adapted. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Well- Y'all yeah. been dating for two years, though. Why the fuck don't you know it's a guy? I mean, that's a whole different story, right? That's just like, well, there's also the... You live with her grandparents. Yeah, I mean, the... the, the... I, again, I'm just speaking because I'm Filipino. They learned English in school, so I think that's... I mean, he wouldn't know that, obviously, but the fact that she probably just holds herself together when speaking English and, like, everyone yes. else probably is fine, like gives more of a reason for people not to learn Filipino. yeah like her he met up with like her three friends that <laughs> like all right those are... so he's like not allowed to like acknowledge like a female waitress for too long or she's like up his shit um but like he's just as bad because like apparently like he didn't like that she was like sh- dancing i don't know she, sure. she was in college for dancing oh, i'm okay. like sure uh she fucking had to stop dancing and lost her scholarship and had to leave like school I would have. I was like, if that's I was, fucked. If I was her parents, I am so fucking surprised that they didn't Dude. say shit. Dude, well, oh, she like lives with her, her grandparents. I don't know where her parents, parents are at. Okay, yeah, I don't know what's up with her parents, but um, oh, that's common too. She has, whatever. she has these like three guy friends, mm. and like because she didn't let him hang out with girls, he was like, no, you can't hang out with guys. Like, no, no. That's just so she would unplug her Wi-Fi and turn off her phone to go hang out and just tell him she had a power outage. And look, it's believable. It's a third world country. There's power edges all the time, especially in the summer. <laughs> but so she, they go and the both of them, like now he's in the Philippines, they go like meet up with her friends or whatever. And first of all, this one boy that she's with, I'm like, oh, you're so gay. Yeah. Oh, it's like bleach tips. Oh, he's I such a little guys, twink. Yeah. Yeah, oh, know, poor baby. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, mm. But like, so they all meet up and they're like, all like switching back and forth between English and Tagalog and like yeah. he's getting like uncommon he's like well I don't know what you guys are saying and I'm like well maybe you should have fucking learned Tagalog the fact that you can speak English aside you're moving to the Philippines what the fuck do you think I and I hate so um I'm not gonna drop names but this was an actual personal story recently um someone married into a Filipino family and uh they live with extended Filipino families or like Filipino family members. Yeah. And this is in America. And we, uh, I got word that this person who is not Filipino hates when they speak Tagalog in front of him. And is like, why? Not Tagalog. And he's like, why are you guys not speaking English You're in America? And I <gasps> think it is. And, <laughs> and I think it is the most rude thing to ever say to anyone when you are the outsider that married in because it's like and they they gave a reason which is basically like well we grew up here and immigrated here when we were adults like it's just easier but i think (laughs) i think anyone that's super like i think it's just the rudest thing when people are like commenting on like you guys aren't speaking english like in front of me and i'm here i'm like i don't care like, I don't think anyone should care. Like, you should then attempt to learn the language that your friends or family speak. Like, even if it's context clues, like, you can figure it out. 
I cannot. It, why aren't you speaking English here in America? Oh my god, that, get I mean, slapped! Yes. Yeah, yeah. First but, of all, get yeah. slapped. I know, but like oh, that's crazy. But yeah, like to, I mean, to your point, to I mean that was an extreme, obviously. But like I think even so, like you're in the Philippines. Like why don't you? You are in the Philippines. I'm like you have married into a family. Exactly. You like very family. obviously speaks that language. Like just fucking learn it. I know. I know. And like, or at least again understand it like for me my understanding is at a a very high proficiency like i can understand anything for the most part unless like deep deep tagalog from like (laughs) in like literature uh but like every day like that's fine like i can understand it i might respond most likely respond in english but because like i'm not comfortable with my grammar (laughs) like in in tagalog for sure which is fine but like at least i can understand it when i go home if you can't understand it Oh, it's just like if you can't understand people and you're complaining and you're in the situation where you're the minority, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> like, get out of here. Wild. Yeah. Wild. And oh. then there was this guy that went over to meet his girl in like Vietnam. Sure. So like mentioned? they both suck. No. But like her English is like fine, but he like nothing. <laughs> nothing. Not a fucking word of understanding yeah. on him and like first of all girls hold your men accountable like uh, i mean hold first and foremost just hold like, them accountable just call bullshit on bullshit yeah absurd yeah oh that was one really sad one that it was in the philippines i got really sad like i cried um okay. he's american he's deaf okay and he met this girl on this woman online um she's like losing her hearing oh okay so that's like how they met but like she doesn't speak sign language at all Mm. and like he only knows asl Mm. so like they're using an app a lot um and he's trying to like associate sign language to like his sign language like her tagalog basically which i was like chill i'm down on that but like that's fine the fuck and like you guys didn't coordinate this at all whatever but so he goes to the philippines to like stay at her house and her house got like fucked by like a typhoon probably yes yeah like fucked like typhoon. uh like Like, doesn't have a ceiling like everything's water damage like fucked yeah so he goes and he stays over the first night there her mom dies oh my god the stairs gave out while she was walking down them and nobody heard and they found her in the morning. Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's awful. That, I mean. I was like, so, I was so heartbroken. I was so upset. I was like, y'all. Just okay, I'm not like reacting. Because went like, with that storyline. Like, yeah. you know, just said, fuck it. Keep it in. Well, like, I'm trying like, oh, okay. So there's this fucking Turkish guy. This is actually UK, but like, whatever. Um, Fine. Close enough. They're acting yeah. the same, so they can get dragged. <laughs> you want to act up, you can get dragged the same. <laughs> right, just call bullshit. Yeah. Um, he's from Turkey. Speaks like, like his English isn't like bad. Like it's not like bad. Yeah. It's but like he's moving to, to UK. Yeah, I don't remember. Um, and is like expecting like everything to like <laughs> be the Turkish way. For him <laughs> oh man immigrants mm-hmm. right which makes no sense i mean the world doesn't revolve around your country everywhere i saved my favorite one to talk shit about for last okay white american women and going story. to india to marry indian men and live in india and then act in the fuck a fool when they find out like what do you mean you're an indian man and i have to live like an indian wife yeah you're in india and like the the oh my god <laughs> getting headache from these people and it isn't and it isn't a this isn't a question on what's right or wrong like this isn't 100%. a question of of what is ethical or not it is the question of or not even a question it's just the the cultural way of living i'm not saying we're not saying what is right and wrong no that's this isn't that that the the issue is you're 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 marrying into a family of a culture that you're not from and not understanding properly and then you get there and it's too late 
because you literally married into this family and you're like what do you mean i'm now a housewife or i don't i don't i don't know that what do you mean this isn't biggest... identical to my american life and my american peerage that i've seen and understood for marriages what do you mean and like they don't learn the culture at all they don't fucking understand it. and like okay probably like these men do, like and like they mostly admit it like on the show that like they have not been forthcoming with like what oh, she yeah. should expect 100%. but like my girl like did you not Google. research anything you are moving to motherfucking India, which is a country that is so fucking different than American living. Yeah, I, I mean, even like, and even like going to like Canada, like anywhere, like or in different state, like like, uh, and like to the extreme of across the world into a different continent. Like, you want a stepping stone country? Go to Canada. Go to like the Netherlands. Go to like go to some UK shit. Go. Yeah, go to Europe first, honestly. Which isn't literally where it's a stepping stone. It's different, but not completely alien also, for an American. But I also I also I wanna assume that these people haven't traveled to begin with before this. Mm, I don't some of them do. Mm-hmm. Um but this chick I don't think she's ever left like whatever fucking po dunk ass shit she's been. Right, because those people are so narrow-minded that it's just like, well, what do you mean reality isn't like this everywhere? You know, it's a it's a shared family household, which is that she's Asian, moved into typical Asian households. Yeah, that's um, watch she any Asian film like watch a an Asian film, <laughs> an Asian film, just any pick anyone, anyone. throw a dart and pick one. I you'll see the the, you'll see what it is. Yes um but so she was moving there and she was like well i don't want to live with the family like i won't do that and he was like well i'm not leaving fully so they compromised which i was like okay like i haven't really seen that done before good for you and he built her an apartment upstairs okay like her own apartment so it's still the family house she just she has her own space space because she like makes a big like fucking thing about like her freedom and like independence and like whatever it's all right american uh and so he was like okay fine so she has a bathroom a bedroom like her own like just her own ass fucking space but the kitchen is still shared like whatever and he's like and like he admits like this is on him but he admits that he was not very like forward with like how involved she's gonna be like with the family and like how like her day-to-day like revolves around working with all of the women in the house for like who has what like task each day like who's cooking this who's doing this like who's cleaning here like whatever yeah y'all gotta yeah like the men all go work and like she's going to be staying home with the other women and like taking care of like the house um yeah and like this was so American. I was fucking shitting because I was like, as a white American girl, like, I get it. This is also why I would not marry into this kind of thing because, like, you're right. I don't want to, I don't want to endure any of that. Mm-hmm. She was like, bugging. But she's like, what do you mean? I can only cook meals with garlic once a week. Like, what do you mean? Like, if I want, like, if I want pasta, like, I just can't have it because, like, and they're like, no, you'll have to, like, work with everybody else and, like, see whatever, like, what we're all, like, having. And she's like, well, what if I want something specific? And I'm like, mood, babe. Like, what if I want girl dinner? Like, I can't have girl dinner. I got to cook with everybody. Like, I can't have Doritos and a girl cheese. Um, And like, vibe. I get it. But like, you know what? I wouldn't do marry into a family like that. (laughs) Well, exactly. Right? Like, I... (laughs) She's like, bugging. Like, (laughs) I look and I get it. I totally get it. I mean, it's the whole individual versus family community thing again. Like, it's just, I mean, you can't catch me just making my own dinner in the Philippines. Like, it'd be like, no, you didn't, you yep. didn't make me anything. Like, you just made it yourself. Like, even I have, like, even I get into fights with my dad. He's like, you made dinner for yourself. And I'm like, yes. He's like, but I make you guys extra food if you want it. I'm like, well, I don't live with you. Like, even like, and even hyphenated Americans have the same issues and we live here. So like the fact that you've made the extra step of leaving your fucking country, going and to like, culture. It's and not like she didn't that. know. She's visited before. Right. But but probably been in, in there for like months at a time. But before they got married? Yes. She's been I there think they're still they not married, married yet. Like okay. they're going to get married. 
Oh, but she she made the move to actually move. She like made the move to like get married. Yeah, it's that mentality I feel like where it's like, oh, we're still doing this, but like I don't live here yet. You know? What I'm yeah. Saying? But now like, that she's committed to do it, I think. But now- like, what a failure of like just self fucking awareness to like see what was happening around you while yeah, you were living like- there. I would understand if you were there for, like, weekend, and you were like, listen, I, for fucking real, had no idea that, like, everybody was working together and, like, doing this shit. I had no awareness. But, like, you were a guest there for, like, a couple of months as you were dating, and you, like, didn't fucking notice that the same thing happened every day. The men left, went to work, and the ladies stayed home and took care of everything. Oh, also, she only speaks English. Oh, well, I would assume that she only speaks English. There's no way. And, like, her man does speak English, but, like, obviously, like, the elders in this household do not. And they're probably honestly judging the fuck out of her anyway. So. Oh, my God, so much. They got her and her man got into a fight upstairs in the apartment, and she was, like, screaming. Like, like that white girl, like, crying, yelling. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he was, like, well, the family is, like, judging you now and is, like, She's talking like, shit about you. She's like, this way I didn't want to live in this kind of house with your family because, like, our fights should be between us. Not and he's right. like, well, when you scream in the house, like, obviously, he's like, I'm their son. Like, they're going to be involved. And she's like, um, that's ridiculous. And I was like, oh, that's American. And that's not. Like, that's it. It's not ridiculous. It's not wrong. It's just simply two different cultures. And you yeah. just didn't look into anything. You just said, I'm going to go to India as a fucking American white girl and have no fucking understanding of how anything works over there. I yeah, and it's it's so frustrating to see as someone that's not white. To I got myself so worked up, I needed water. I clearly, <laughs> it's so frustrating to me because it's again, it's just like the world doesn't revolve around, around white America. You know, like it doesn't like it doesn't translate anywhere else. Like there's a reason why Americans are American and everyone else is everyone else. You know, per country, per per region, per whatever. Like, you can't just walk into, again, but uh, you can tell the, who, what American is a tourist, like, in, in a different country. Like, you can tell that you're an American. Like, we can tell that you're American, and I'm American. Like, I can tell. Like, you don't belong here. Like, it's so, so, you being American is so unique. <laughs> it is, and, and people get so unaware of how unique we, we are outside of America it's 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 so baffling that like all this it's it's crazy the psychology of it is just so fucking wild honestly so again but i'm not i'm not surprised that um she doesn't know the language she doesn't know the culture i'm not surprised that she asked to build an apartment she should be grateful that outside of america to do that and usually in asian countries it's super easy And I'm not saying it's hard, but it's easy enough that there's no permits. There's no, like, this. There's no, like, that. Like, be grateful that, like, okay, there's some compromise where you can have your own fucking apartment on, like, the third floor of this house. She didn't thank him for shit. Uh, She bugged out about everything about it. Um, She was, like, screaming and crying because there was no toilet paper. (laughs) Um, She was bugging because, like, the bathroom, like, there's like okay, so you go into the bathroom and there's like the toilet and like the like shower area, um, but there's like no door on it, and she's like it's facing a window. And he's like you're on like a top floor, like you're fine. He's like they don't put a door, like they there's just not there's not you're a door. Fine. Yeah, you're. Fine. She was like the door is over there, and he's like yeah for that when you, when you're showering, like there's the door closed because that's like the showery side. Right. She was like you're the fine. toilet though anyone can see, and he's like she's like it's across from a window, and I'm like. Gr- your, but girl. hung yeah. up on that for minutes and then like i guess she's never been in like a fucking hotel before because like the sink i forget what it's called but like the sink is outside of like the bathroom like yeah yeah the little whatever yeah yeah yeah, yeah like i forget it's like it's on the like alcove like here's the bathroom in here but like the, the sink area is like out of yeah. it yeah, 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 yeah. um and she was like this doesn't make any sense and he was like what do you mean like this is how a bathroom is and she's like it's not how a bathroom is the sink should be inside and he's like no, the thing's out here so you can, like, wash your hands. She's like, what about when I go to the bathroom? He's like, well, the shower is right there if you got it on you. But, like, the bathroom, like, you just walk out and wash your hands. Right, like, any standard hotel here is, like... Like, dude, like, a fight. Like, she lost her little fuck of mind. And he's like, do you know how hard this was? Like, do you know how much money this cost me to, like, do? He's like, I bought, like, the best materials because, like, that's what you wanted. 
Yeah. And like, he wanted it to be like, he's like, I made it as American as I possibly could with what we have available in India. Mm -hmm. And she was like, everything's from India. Like you can get. Oh no. Oh no. I was like, yo, first of all, babe. Bruh. Bruh. (laughs) There's no, I mean, again, ugh. And she was like, you know, temperature wise, it's not very comfortable. And he's like, well, yeah, there's like no AC. She's like, well, what am I supposed to do? She's like, he was like, here's an awesome open window, fan. put on yeah. a fan. Like, there's three fans. Good, good luck. Like, she was like, like, it's hot. He was like, yeah, it's India. Like, <laughs> have fun. Like, and it's like again, babe. Like, you just didn't look into anything. You were just like, yeah, fucking vibes. And like, there's reasons why people have different skin tone. She's not going to survive the heat. She's like my coloring. She's so pale. Right, right. And like, so pale. My skin tone is for technically, like, to to help with the heat for them. Like, you know, so like, summer suck. They still suck, but like, I'd be pink in seven minutes. I was like, we experience different heat and pretty much heat indexes on our fucking skin. So, like, her in India, like, girl, like, that's rough that's rough but also like again there's no central ac there's like no central ac i don't even know like and like besides like fancy hotels like fancy buildings like malls you know all that stuff but like from places where i've traveled like if if you're not in like a fancy like in enough like establishment if you're not in like a western style <laughs> yeah like like good luck <laughs> I was like, I was like, I was in London, and like they don't believe in Central AC. I'm like, that sucks. Ugh. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Couldn't yeah. do it. Listen, I'm. I know that I'm very white American, and like yesterday, you catch my ass sitting in the middle of fucking white America in New Jersey. That's that's where. That's where we are. So, right, but I mean, to to go to the next level and go on a TV show and marry someone from. You know, because man, of, like, well, part wild. Of, like, this is like a fifteen minutes of fame type situation, and I'm just like, that's just annoying. Dude, no, most of them stay married after these shows. Like, yeah, most which is of them, wild like, to me. Which is so wild. Are they typically? The they're like legit here or abroad that stay married. Um, that is, is like a great a... question. I honestly don't know. I don't really keep up. I, there's yeah. one. There was one uh white woman to India couple that's like somehow still together. She's like. 20 years 30 years older than him or some shit she is yeah he was like married to like the he like went through with the family's like arranged marriage that but like she was living in india like he had an apartment with her it was it was wild they're wild jenny and to me they're fucking crazy that shit love them but like this fucking bonkers ass like 60 year old white woman gave up everything and moved to India to be with her, like, 30-year-old boyfriend. Who oh. actually catfished her. Really? Yeah, he was a telemarketer. And he catfished her. Oh, my God. And then he was like, just kidding. I'm not this crazy hot dude. Yeah. I'm that's just... talking to your fucking old bag, like, ass. Like, and yeah. she was just like, well, okay. Oh. And I yeah. kept down, like, y'all are crazy. Y'all are crazy. Oh. There, there's some crazy to these people it's wild it's wild like get help <laughs> get help get help like that's crazy i don't know i just don't like i just don't like people when people go into different cultures and they don't fucking deal like deal with the struggle of like learning anything i hate that shit you don't have to be I American. love watching you Americans mean, go through this. I mean, I I same because I'm American, but it all because again, it could be anyone else. Like you literally didn't do any a simple Google, a simple Google and a thirty minute YouTube video. Like it's not like, that hard. How are you gonna are you meet gonna someone from a different culture, country, like whatever, and like be like you know what i love them so much we're gonna get married for sure like i'm gonna go like whatever and like you don't look into their culture at all and it's hard work obviously like i'm not saying it's easy but people do it all the time shit like fuck fuck like (laughs) fuck dude i got this fucking jacked up fucking 
Staten Island, New Jersey accent. And like, you bet your fucking ass if I met somebody from like a fucking East Like, okay, I guess I'll fucking say shit in that language and it's going to sound fuck bad, but I'm going to do it. It's the least you can do as a person. Especially Dude, if literally. Especially if they're so ingrained with their culture. I'm Because of course there are other people that like are very much so. We can just be American. And even though I'm not yeah. like, I'm not white America, true, whatever. So that's fine. If they're just like, you know, they're not in tune with. But then if you're going and literally like, even if they have like a 5% love for their fucking culture, you better also have 5% of that love. <laughs> like, it's not that hard. But again, I mean, it's the individual like, well, I'm American, so I'm just going to do whatever the fuck I want. So I just like, I can't imagine deciding I was going to marry somebody and they're like, okay, like we're going to live like in my country and like you're going to leave America. And I was just like, all right, hopefully everybody I fucking encounter speaks English. Hopefully every fucking sign and label on things is in English. Fuck it. Like, are you shitting my dick? Like, are you kidding me? Like, sure, I'm not saying it wouldn't take time. I'm not saying, you know, my first week moving there, I'd be, like, fucking fully yeah. integrated and, like, good. I'd be trying to figure it out. You'd see me at my little fucking camera. I'm trying to take pictures and translate shit on my phone. But, right. like, I'd be trying. I'm not going to yeah. go to a store and ask people shit in English. I know. When people don't, like, especially if it's, like, not city. If it's, like, a rural area, you're fucked anywhere. Like, with even coming to America, like, if it's not, like, a, you know, New York City, like, a, I don't know, L.A., like, situation, you're, like, fucking nowhere Kentucky. No way. Like, there's no I time. love when no these way. people come to the States for people, for, like, Americans that live in, like, fucking Kentucky. And I'm like, ah, oh, they done fucking tricked you. Like, they yeah. make, like, 27K living in fucking Missouri. Like, they got nothing. They don't have shit. Right. They inherited that house that they live in. It is falling apart, I promise you. Like, you are not coming here and living the American dream. Do they live anywhere other than the East or West Coast? You are not living the dream that you wanted. They in fucking Oklahoma, you're not going to have a good time. It's not the life that you wanted, I promise you. Right. Which, I mean, agreed. Because then there's also that skewed uh, outside of America. Again, I'm just speaking on my Filipino experience. Some skewed situation where it's like everything's New York. You know what I'm saying? Or like everything, everything here is, you know, LA, New York, uh, you know, Miami, whatever. Like Disney. You know, like that. I always die when the like Eastern, like European women come marry to like America? American dude. Oh, and they come and the dude does not live in LA or New York. Yeah, yeah. And like they come and they're like, what the fuck is all of this? Right. And I'm like, again, babe, you didn't fucking Google where he lives. Like, you didn't look nothing up. You just took this fucking white man at his word. You said, this is an American white man. They're known for their honesty and forthcoming. Like, like you just said, yeah, Wall fuck Street. it. I'll yeah. move to fucking yeah, bumfuck Oklahoma. That yeah. should be the big city dreams. Don't they show up in, like, their fucking, like, Devil Wears Prada outfit, saying, walk like, it off the plane like European. Meryl Streep, and yeah. they're like... Yeah. And they land, they're like, well, I... Yes, like what the not. fuck is this yeah especially like eastern europeans or just i guess europeans in general i mean because it's europe is very pretty like mm-hmm. i've been to, i've obviously traveled like that's not a whatever surprise to this podcast so like i've been to europe a couple times it's pretty it has history it has like all the things that you just think of europe and you're like yes that's what that looks like yeah like yes america People forget how young this country is, which is such also just like a thing that I just have to remind people. I'm like, we don't have anything here. We're talking 300 years versus fucking BC years. Like, there's nothing here for you. If anything, we fucked it up. And by we, I mean the the people that colonized here fucked up the natural landscape of America. So you're coming to nothing unless you're in New York or LA or Seattle or like the coast. Like, Mm -hmm. nothing here. So, um, but again, it is baffling the other way around as well. If you're coming here and you expect something else, you're just, and you're not in New York. You're never always in New York. They're like, he lives in Kentucky. And it's like, ha, good luck. Have fun. Okay. Jesus, there's nothing. Or like the ones that like go to the Philippines and like are shook. About what? I love when people talk about the Philippines. 
they get there and like and like these fucking shows do everybody dirty like they they for all these countries they like make them look like Mm -hmm. terrible like they i swear to like people definitely apply that like live in like manila and they're like absolutely not we're going here where it's borderline the fucking jungle because that shit's funny and people are gonna scream yeah, like they they probably like if anything like yeah like they live in Manila like them individually but their families from like rural like yeah yeah. yeah yeah and they're like yes I thing. love the one they get off the flight and they've been like they're like I've been flying for like nineteen hours I want to fucking die and then like oh, my boy like sack up right. you got a fucking thirteen hour drive now yeah through the mountains. they're like have fun they're like what yeah and then they get there and like I love the Americans like I'm like and like I'm also watched a fucking movie ever like nobody just has no. watched anything because they hit the road and they're like there's so many things happening like there's cars all like it's not like this where i'm from and it's like no you fucking idiot of course it's not and it's so it's so fucking funny to me because the filipino i'm just again taking filipino there's so many films like there's so much content and not even just about the philippines india even uh and like Europe, like literally whatever Turkey. fucking genre of movie you want to watch, there, there is, is a scene multiple times over of the same motherfucking roads, and they all have like ninety three cars making use of like seventeen this fucking space. lanes. Yeah, like, like, uh, to, like watch a movie. Yeah, I think the easiest part is literally media, like social media, like like films, music, like anything of that nature, TV shows, like. Go watch but an they Indian all movie. Always get there, oh, and they're so always like in a fucking rickshaw and losing their fucking minds. And I'm like, mood. I get it. I'm nervous on the on a four lane highway because I have crippling anxiety. So like, yes, I'd shit my pants in a country like that where I'm in a vehicle or I'm in a fucking that. like. I get it. If I had to sit on a fucking that. moped and there's not, I get it. I would shit bricks. I know. You know what really? I wouldn't be? <laughs> Floored and shook it by the fact that it's happening. I know. And, and like, oh man, like that's just like, and for me, it's just like, that's just the comfort I know. So like when people get like shit, you know, it's just like, and it's the same people and it's the same type of people that like are shook when like street vendors don't have fucking gloves on making food oh my god <laughs> or they like go up to like a cart or something they're like there's flies on it but yeah it's very like yes you're outside like yes like this is our livelihood yes. like these like you know this is like here's like five pesos for something because like i'm coming out of school and i want this fucking thing that's like in a goddamn tin carton like you know like it's so like they're, like getting something in like mismatched like plastic bags and they're like oh and it's like uh, yeah dude like they are not these people are not spending a thousand dollars to have this fucking like there ain't no fda here lemonade stand yeah there ain't there ain't no fda here like you're you're getting a like fucking soda in a plastic bag and a straw have fun like mm-hmm. i'm not giving you the glass because i gotta refund this for five cents like <laughs> like <coughs> but again it's the same type of people those people where they have issues because i've even seen it on like um like on tiktok when i scroll through and there's this one guy that like he he moved to vietnam with his family he's not vietnamese he's like from like jersey or something new york whatever but he speaks language and is like a chef and like you know actually does like so- he knows the culture so and he he's raising his kids to be as such so he's like cool with Love everything. That. Love like that. The, the right way to do it <laughs> like, yeah the right way to yeah. do it i think his vietnamese is like I mean, I don't know. I don't speak Vietnamese, but like, it's just like his pronunciation has been great. So, and like, he knows the culture. So then, obviously, on TikTok, you can ask questions or you can leave comments and they can respond to comments and stuff. And one, of course, one comment is always like, You ever get sick from the street food? <laughs> like, like shit like that. And I'm like, I don't know what you guys are thinking, like, white Americans, like, whenever you go, because I think the best part of traveling is street food. That's just me. I'm just a foodie. And and that's just you're deterring yourself, and also that's just so racist, honestly, <laughs> from trying the food and just like just like assume that everyone's dirty, like that's fuck, <laughs> like like, like that, what that's... do you people think? Like what do you think they like picked up a handful of dirt and like threw it on there, and they were like fuck it, like that's fine, like right? Because like it's so like it's such like a racist undertone. It's not even an undertone. <laughs> it's just racist to say to even ask like. Or to even wonder if that's, like, clean. I'm like, so are you just saying everyone else is dirty outside of America? Yes, they are. 
exactly their understanding of every other culture is dirty especially when like people here go to fucking food trucks i'm like okay like that's our street food are you not like okay like yes it's in a truck because it's a commodity for white people it's a commodity for white americans yeah it's Mm -hmm. like it's like oh let's be like and i'm just like all right fine (laughs) whatever just be racist and just tell me that instead of saying asking if the street food is dirty dude just say hey i'm racist like that's it right right but same difference they'll marry say it less words i know and it's supposed to me just like doing fucking mental gymnastics i'm like okay like i don't want to associate with you then (laughs) i don't know but i think it's it's so funny because i do love the the i do love being filipino and american and going to the philippines and seeing the americans i do love that past sign for me because i'm just like and especially when like they're with their like significant other and i just know i'm just like i'm just like girl do you even know the god like like, are you just here like what are we doing here (laughs) me when i finally go (laughs) yeah it's it's so interesting it's so like because you'll be fine (laughs) because you'll be fine because white people there are like again are just revered in in not even just the city but just everywhere else so like that white boy that became a fucking farmer a rice farmer over there i'm sure he's fine but i just find it very interesting um to be in both shoes and then being like well i guess you know <laughs> i guess this is interesting the psychology is super interesting it's just like there's so much going on at once it's so fun i'm just gonna have to keep my eyes closed in a moving vehicle at any time I don't want to look. Oh, and it's so funny because, like, I mean, my mom drives there. I don't. I don't drive in Manila. I drive where my dad lives because it's much easier for me. Um, but man, it is. I mean, I do love the tricycles, which are the the mopeds with the yep thing. Yep, I do love the tricycles. I love, I love being in them. There's also jeepneys, which is just that huge ass truck with the back open that you just walk in and you yep sit down. Yep uh those are fun i i rarely go in them anymore because my family has cars now growing up we didn't um but um it is true there's like i always say the the four lane highways the lines are suggestions they're not fucking rules and there's always just like policemen there just like waving to go and i'm like you're you're not even doing anything <laughs> you're not even doing anything because just, they're just waving traffic i'm like you're standing there not doing anything <gasps> but it's meanwhile like- i go on like route 130 and i have like a fucking anxiety i, I think what uh i'm just thinking about obviously just just the driving over there and just like transportation and it's like and every time there's like a stop and a stoplight or whatever um and again this is third world country so i that reactions my reactions aren't normal because again that's just my country um but uh stoplights and just you know whenever there's a stoplight there are kids that come running out um asking for change or they're selling like candy for like a piso just it's just like not even a cent in america like just like stuff like that yeah um but uh when people get like shook over that i think it's like i'm just like you've never seen an impoverished place ever is what you're telling me because people just come running out the street you're like oh it's a stop all right it's like they're, they're stop let's go ask them yeah like, physically knock like like every, that's why like even besides the fact that like it's hot and the tint helps the tint yeah. helps to see to to cover you as a passenger yeah because they'd be knocking every door asking for sort of like change and stuff depending on where what area you're in in manila so um wild but yeah but again like people that they get like really shook about it and then get the white savior complex of like oh my god, oh, my god. i'm like you've just never seen actual poverty is what you're telling yeah literally me. literally because the, the whole white savior complex too when it comes to like, just like not even just the building which in general i'm just like y'all don't it's... we don't need saving and but i'm not i'm putting my, i'm not putting myself in the impoverished people's shoes i'm just like in general yeah I just like it. the like blanket we of like it's thank you like i get it it's sad but you don't have to like then you don't need Mother to give Teresa. me Dude, you don't need to give me five dollars to make your fucking Instagram post about how you had like fuck it, yeah. like no thanks. Or even like um those kids that take like a trip to I don't know, like West Africa and build like a house. 
Oh God, those fucking like missionaries. Yeah, that like, or... yeah. Oh and my sudden, God, like it's like, it's like hey, the one thing they they talk about for like thirty years. They'll build a those. fucking house. Like no worries, they need a house. Like they can they'll build. It's all right. And not even and not even that. They probably did a shit job, and the people there probably just redid it afterwards. You know, <laughs> like but you're they're... a further strain on resources. Yeah, like like that's fine. Um. So yeah, I don't know how we got on that, but I also love the women that meet the dude like who's working on a cruise. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then he's gonna bring them over to America. And I'm like, what do you mean? Yeah, I bet yeah, you're the only woman he's done this with. That's it, just you. You're so special. You're yeah, the I- only woman. Especially no like, others. Yeah. They're Especially when they're like, he's crazy hot and I just look like a person. Yeah. I just look like a white woman and he's like stupid fucking good looking. And she's just like, no, he definitely loves me. And the guy's like, it's always been my dream to live in America. I'm like, oh, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, wild. He's definitely in love with you. He definitely saw you and was like, wow, she looks like Kmart if they were a person. I'm in love. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the, I mean, again, so many factors mentally that go into this like just get help dude you know? like it's the this isn't real like people dude, you want a project people. that's gonna give you unconditional love go to the shelter and adopt a two-year-old dog same thing just gonna cost you significantly less money and yeah and heartbreak and trauma for the most part. and trauma it'll save you a lot of trauma i don't know i don't know but I don't know white America. I don't. I don't know what to do do with y'all. I don't know what to do with y'all. I truly don't. Um, I'm just here vibing. Y'all can figure your shit out. Just don't don't fuck with my shit. Don't there, fuck with my shit. There was. I was listening to if anyone is a Drag Race fan. Um, Trixie and Katya have a podcast called The Bald and Beautiful. Um, two of my favorite drag queens. And obviously they're gay. Like often, I mean, obviously, but someone, one of them said, like, um, I feel like, like, and this is just paraphrasing, but like, gay people are just like vibing until the straights come in, and ruin the vibe. And I think that's just like people are just vibing until like the white Americans come in, and then that just kills the vibe. mood. <laughs> like, I think that's just, I think that's just, that's just what that this is, honestly. One hundred percent. Um. If anyone listening of the seven people that listen that like know of people <laughs> in situations of a similar manner, I just would love the tea. I would just love any email or comment of some sort. <laughs> Cause it just I just baffles me. It is really just one of my favorite topics is talking about how white people are just annoying. Yeah, mood. It's yeah. an easy, it's an it's low hanging fruit. It is. There's and never a topic that it doesn't apply to. Truly. It can apply to literally anything in this world. A white person has obviously touched upon every topic possible from like metaphysics to fucking the most obscure one season TV show you've ever seen. Like there That's why people's favorite is that fucking like peak pretension. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh, hundred percent. Um always ruin everything i can't think of the thing off the top of my head that they haven't ruined that was all i had i thought that would be a good contribution it did get us an hour so it did it did um in that case uh, <laughs> like comment subscribe uh follow us on instagram um email us at the right amount of unhinged at gmail.com we have gameplays every other week and then podcasts the weeks in between and i think that's it i think that covers it yeah okay all right bye bye